All right, Trey. So, uh, uh, back when we when we sat down in 2019, yeah, I don't know if you remember, but we uh, you kind of touched on this briefly. You talked about you had a Jay Z story, right? Back then, and it it was it was kind of like um, so. This ain't new. This isn't new. Okay. This isn't new. I just want um, I want to just this is not this is not a new story. No, it's not a new story. I've you, talked about this on several occasions. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I just I just want to be no, clear. No, I want the November, people to be November, tw- November uh, 2019. Okay. Man, on, on, on my platform. And I've talked about, about it before that. So okay. just to be clear. So no, it's not. It's but not I, I never put it out there to the public. But I people in circles in the business and outside of the business know this story. This is not a new thing. I'm not bringing <laughs> this up just. Just to, right. just to bring it, you know, to we'll we'll get deep into. I just I just want that part to be clear. This right, is right, not right. new. It's not it's not a new story, but it's 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 resurfaced at a um at an interesting time. So okay, so when we first talked about it briefly back in 2019, um, I don't I don't remember if we actually I don't know if we put that piece out there, mm-hmm. like t- pull that little clip and put it out there, um, but yo, it's, it's resurfaced, man, because you just did you just did an interview, um. On Doggy Diamonds TV, right, and uh, shout out to Doggy Diamonds. That's my guy. You know, no shout out to him. Mm-hmm. And, th- and this, 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 uh, you had an opportunity to tell the story again, right? Um, and it's in relation to when you were in the studio with Big. You right. were about to lay the record with Big. Keep your hands high. Right. You met Jay Z for the first time. Yes. Doing that before that studio session. Correct. Um, that, to talk about what okay. happened. Okay. So, with that so I'll tell the story again. All okay. Right? This is not this this would be a, an additional time that I've told this story throughout the years. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> this story has existed. This might be the first time it kind of went a little viral though, man. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and and that's the part that I find very interesting. Okay. So, okay, I'll say it again. I'm in the studio, D and D Studios, uh, shout out to Primo. He owned the studio at the time, and we are recording Keep Your Hands High mm-hmm. in one room. But I get there after Big, and when I get there, Big is there with Jay. Okay. And Jay is having a conversation with Big because he's also in D&D in another room. I think he's doing streets, he's watching. I could be wrong, but he's recording. Okay. And so this is the first time I meet Jay because Big introduced me to Jay when, you know, I saw Big and all that. And we're t- we talking, it was 96, 97? 96. 96. In the 90, okay. December 96. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um, it might have been around his birthday. I think it was December fifth. I think Jay's birthday oh, was around yeah, that time or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, I meet Jay for the first time. You know, the, 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 the "Keep Your Hands High" track is playing in the background, produced by Ike Lee the Third. Shout out to him. And um, and so, you know, he was there the night that we recorded the song. And I think the part that's going that 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 the part that people are in a frenzy over is two things. The first thing is that I said on Doggy Diamond's platform, shout out to him again because, you know, salute to you, brother, because he got eyeballs on me right now. So right. we about to take right. advantage of this whole thing. Oh, absolutely. So I told Doggy, I said, there's an interesting, inter- interesting story about that night that Jay was there. And the interesting story to me was that he was there while we were recording that song. Mm-hmm. And ironically... Or it just so happens that a few years later, Jay uses that sample, not my record. He uses the sample. Okay. Right? The Buchanans. I believe they produced the record for Jay. Okay. Sample the same record from MFSB, right? Okay. And he said a line that was in my song. It was Big's line. But it was in your song. But it was in my song. Right. Right. So I find that interesting that he was there that night that we recorded the song and he winds up using the same sample that we used and took a line that Big said in my song. And, and real quick, Trey, correct me if I'm wrong, but did but did Jay also use a, at least a, 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 a part of that line in um, in the record with T.I.? Well, Jay didn't use it. They sampled Jay they saying sampled that. Jay. Right, right, right. But right, still right. it's a derivative. Right. It derived from my song. Your song, right. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. Again, it's Big's line. Big said the line. Big wrote the line, but it's a part of my song. Mm-hmm. I am a writer on that song. Right. 
You understand right. me? And we'll get, and the reason why I'm trying to give right. people clarification is because I'm going to break all of that down right. later. But that's what happened. So then Doggy asked me, so should you get, he said, did you get paid for that? Right. right? And I said, I should. Right. right. And then he says, right. so are you going to get paid for that? And I said, I should. I said, but I haven't knocked on any doors yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was it. He asked me a question, mm -hmm. and I answered it. Mm -hmm. Right? That, 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 does that sound like... No, and, and, and on my way over here uh, tonight, I listened to it again for myself. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, yeah, man, I mean, I mean you know, I, I think that you, you know, he asked you a question, like you said, you answered it, and um, I think you gave him some great content, man, by even adding that story on the back end of it, too. Because it was all relatable, because you know? he right. was talking about the song itself, because he was making a comparison how me and Big did the song. Right. And then he said, well, Jay also used that same sample, but he used more of the loop, whereas mm -hmm. Ike Lee III kind of chopped it a little bit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Right, right, um, right. But, but, but yeah, it was, it was all relative. Mm -hmm. I didn't just pull that story out of the blue. Mm -hmm. It all was relatable.